I'm Cyril Vanier in Doha with your top stories on Al Jazeera. At least 47 people have been killed in an explosion in Matsung in Pakistan's southwestern Baluchistan province. More than 60 others were injured. The attack took place during a religious procession. In a separate incident, at least five people have been killed in an explosion at a mosque in the city of Hangzhou near, of Hangu near Peshawar. It happened during Friday prayers. Several people are stuck under the rubble. A Kamal Haider is reporting from Islamabad. There has been a surge in the violence. Um, a, a number of security forces personnel have been killed. Uh, now, it should be understood that after the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, uh, certain groups such as the Tariq -e Taliban Pakistan, the Islamic State, uh, were able to reorganize and then start uh, carrying out attacks from across the border. The Afghan Taliban, of course, have now launched a major offensive in Kunar in the eastern provinces, uh, northeastern provinces of Afghanistan. Uh, they're trying to flush out the Tariq -e Taliban Pakistan fighters. Armenia says about two-thirds of the ethnic Armenians have left the region more than a week after Azerbaijan took control in a swift military offensive. Nearly 85,000 people are believed to have crossed into Armenia. Russian President Vladimir Putin has instructed the former chief of staff of the Wagner Group to create volunteer units for the war in Ukraine. Putin has previously hailed Andrei Troshev as a possible new commander for the mercenary role. Voting in a parliamentary election is underway in the southern African kingdom of Eswatini. Nearly 600,000 voters are registered to cast their ballots with 59 seats in the country's lower house of parliament up for grabs. Another 10 seats will be chosen by the country's monarch, King Miswatini III. Political parties have been banned in the country since the early 70s. Member of parliament can be only voted for as individuals. Sweden's Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson is exploring how the armed forces can help deal with an unprecedented surge in gang violence. At least 11 people were killed in near-daily shootings or bombings in September. The violence is the worst seen in a single month in nearly four years. Rival gangs are fighting over arms and drug trafficking. 